If you have hyperprolactin, this video is for you. This video is the most requested video in my platform and that is why I am bringing out my time to make this video. Hi, my name is Tochi and I welcome you all. If you like what you are seeing in this platform, please like and follow our page, subscribe to support me. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about hyperprolactin, the definition, what hyperprolactin is all about and how this hyperprolactin can affect you from becoming pregnant. And a lot of people have this issue, but they do not know. Remember what we do in this platform? We will teach women how to calculate their circle ovulation so that they will become pregnant. This is only what we do here. We teach women how they can calculate their circle. A lot of women trying to conceive do not know their circle. They don't even know what ovulation is. So we are here to call your attention back to the basis of the things that you are supposed to know before you become pregnant so but in this particular video we are going to be talking about hyperprolactin everything about hyperprolactin and how it can affect your chances of becoming pregnant if you know you have this please watch this video don't just click and start asking me questions. Now we are going to be looking at the definition of hyperprolactin. What is hyperprolactin or what is even prolactin? Now, prolactin is a hormone released by the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland is a small gland at the base of the brain. It regulates the body's balance of many hormones. Prolactin stimulates a breast development and make production in women. Normal level of prolactin for women that is not pregnant is less than 25. Then if you are pregnant, your prolactin level will be about 80 and above. So now, if you are not pregnant and you are not breastfeeding and you see breast milk coming out from your breast, it is a condition that is called hyperprolactin we are going to explain this more a lot of women experience this it's not a must that a breast milk will be coming out some people don't even experience that but their prolactin level may be still high however prolactin level are high at other times that is when you are not pregnant or when you are not breastfeeding your prolactin level might be high this condition is called hyperprolactinemia when you are not breastfeeding, pregnant, and your prolactin level is high, it is known as hyperprolactinemia. Hyperprolactinemia predominantly affects women, but it can cause infertility, decrease sex drive, and bone loss in both men and women. And also, I want to note something that men also suffer hyperprolactin. Hyperprolactinemia can cause low estrogen, which can lead to low bone development. So hyperprolactinemia can make your estrogen to be low and also can lead to low bone development. Now, what are the common signs and symptoms of hyperprolactinemia? prolactinemia number one is it decreases bone density and a lot of people suffer this but they do not know the cause that is why i keep on telling you it is always good for you to at least once in two years to go for a medical checkup so people only go to the hospital or visit their doctor only when they are sick no you must not be sick before you go for a medical checkup. The reason being that if you go for a medical checkup, if there is any developing ailment, it will be dictated and it will be solved at the initial stage. But when you allow it to be worse, then it may lead to cause another problem, many problems in your system. So the number two signs or symptom of hyperprolactinemia is lack of interest in sexual activities have you all of a sudden you lost interest in baby dancing or what you always do before go and have yourself check another sign is headache and impaired vision are you having serious headache like migraine 
this could be the symptom or the sign of hyperprolatinemia. Another one is low production of other hormones by pituitary gland. Remember, when any of your hormones is affected, it's going to directly or indirectly affect other hormones. So, our body, you may see that maybe this hands is separate from those, but my hands have problems. Definitely, this one will feel it. It's going to affect this one because I will not be able to be doing the things that I, I, I am doing before. So that is the effect. Any of your hormones that have problem may lead to another one having some issues. So is it result in infertility? Of course, the first thing that hyperprolatinemia does is that it will cease your menstruation. It will cause problem to your menstruation, and from there, your infertility problem will start. Another one is it causes painful intercourse due to vaginal dryness. Another one, another one is acne and excessive face and body hair. All of a sudden, you don't have pimples, you don't have hairs in your in your in your face. All of a sudden, all these things start to develop. It is it is the signs of it is the sign of hyperprolatinemia. Another one is uncommonly enlarged breasts. Yes, of course, of course, because there is a lot of breast milk inside there. It will make your breast to enlarge. So these are the symptoms and signs of hyperprolatinemia. Remember, remember we have defined what prolatin is. We have talked about what hyperprolatinemia is and we'll talk about the symptoms and signs. What you will observe, you know that you have this. Now let's look at what are the causes of this hyperprolatinemia. What will be the things that could make you to develop this? The number one causes of hyperprolatinemia is formation of a benign tumor on the pituitary gland. This non-cancerous growth known as a prolatinemia directly secretes excessive prolatin while decreasing the level of other cells hormone. The number two is disease affecting a portion of the brain called the hypothalamus can also cause hyperprolatin. The hypothalamus function as the link between the nervous system and the pituitary gland. The increase in prolatin level can often be directly linked to the tumor trauma or infection of the hypothalamus so hypothalamus is a part of your brain i'm not going to go into detail from this we are looking at the 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 causes possible causes of um, this um, hyperprolactin and number one i said it is a formation of a tumor this tumor is uh, non-cancerous in your brain when it happens it affects your a pituitary gland and also that it will affect your prolatin level another one is a disease affecting a portion of the brain then the number three is chronic kidney failure could be as a result of this your stress level so somebody may ask what are the method of curing this hyperprolatin the best thing like i always say people come to me what medication can i take to you know uh, reduce my hyperprolactin. The best thing is to go to your gynecologist. They it have medication that can help to reduce, or if you want to solve it totally, go to endocrinologist. These are the specialists that are responsible to endocrine system. Go to them. They will conduct a test, find out why your prolactin level is happening. Another way, surgery may be the solution if they try to reduce it and they couldn't then they will prefer surgery which means by removing the tumor in your brain i believe i have solved this what can we take to reduce our hyperprolactin go to your physician he will prescribe a medication to you so do this if you are under stress please try to reduce stress so that you will help yourself also if you are new to my page you are welcome please like and subscribe and share, recommend, and God will bless you. Bye-bye.